everybody. We are going to be making a tube knitting piece for this project. Um, what that means is you're going to be using a tube as a loom, we're going to be using yarn, and we're going to be knitting on this tube to create a piece of knitting. And you can use this knitting as a bracelet, a necklace, a headband, you can use it as a strap on something or for a keychain. So the supplies that you will need for this project, you'll need a toilet paper tube, you will need four popsicle sticks, some kind of tape, and some yarn. So once you get those supplies, we'll be ready to go. Okay, I've gathered my supplies that I'm going to need for my tube knitting. So you're going to need a um, toilet paper roll, an empty roll, um, four popsicle sticks, a pair of scissors, some kind of tape, um, it can be any kind of tape at all that you have around your house, and some yarn. Um, it doesn't have to be yarn that's quite as thick as this. In fact, using a little bit thinner yarn can be a little bit easier, um, but whatever kind of yarn you have around your house will work as well. So the first step is I'm going to be taping my popsicle sticks onto my cardboard tube. So um, I'm going to cut myself a couple pieces of tape here and I'm going to make sure that they're pretty good size. You don't want them just too short. Okay, so notice how long I taped it. I'm, I'm going to stick that one there for now. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my popsicle sticks and I'm going to set it on top. Now notice how much it's sticking off. It's about an inch or so. You don't want it sticking way far off and you don't want it to be too short like this. Okay, you want it to be about an inch and I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. And then I'm going to tape the one that's across. So right here. It's easier to hold these if you do it this way rather than if you try to do them in order. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the tape around like that. Okay. There's the two of them on. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to take one that goes right on the top here. I'm going to take my tape and put it on. And then I'm going to put the other one right over here, hold it on, and tape it around. And if you feel like you need to, you can always put another piece of tape on there like this, just to make sure that everything is on there nice and secure. If you're having trouble getting that by yourself, um, maybe ask a brother or sister or somebody at home to give you a hand with holding those while you tape them. I also recommend putting some tape near the bottom. If you don't, sometimes your popsicle sticks will wiggle around on you as you are um, knitting. So this will help keep them secure. Like that. Now I'm finished with my tape. I can set it out of my way. Okay, so now we're ready to start knitting. I'm going to take the end of my yarn and notice that my spool is standing straight up with the popsicle sticks facing up and I'm going to stick the end of the yarn in um, until it touches the table and then I'm going to pinch it like this with my finger and my thumb. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yarn right here. So notice where I'm holding it. I'm not holding it way back here and I'm not, I'm holding it kind of just a few inches away from where my other fingers are pinching. I'm going to take it behind the popsicle stick and wrap it around. Okay, so watch that again if you missed what I did. I went behind the popsicle stick, wrapped it around like this. Now my yarn is pulling over this way so it's going to wrap around that next popsicle stick. Okay, and I need to still kind of hang on to these here. This first part is the trickiest part. Okay, if you get this, once you get the first round done, after that it gets much, much, much easier. Okay, so I'm going to repeat again. So I'm going to go behind this popsicle stick and wrap around it. I'm going to turn here and then I'm going to go around this one. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started and I'm going to go around that first one again. So you'll see that you've got two, um, two layers of yarn here and if you look down from the top you can see that you have a square created. So make sure you've got that square. Some, um, sometimes people will wrap from the front. Make sure you're going behind and coming um, to the front from behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left finger and I'm going to hold the yarn in place right here okay, and let go of it. And I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to pinch this bottom one, pull it up and over. And now that one's kind of loose because that was that loose tail. 
Um, so if it feels kind of loose, don't worry, it's okay. It's supposed to be like that. Um, so I'm gonna take my yarn wrap around from behind and come forward. Use my left hand to hold the yarn in place. I'm gonna take my other hand, pinch, pull up around like that. Turn and I'm gonna do this again. Wrap around from behind. I'm gonna pinch the bottom one, pull it up and over. And I'm gonna continue doing this over and over. At first it might be a little tricky, but one of the great things about knitting is once you get it down, you just keep going and do the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, so I'm wrapping from behind, taking the bottom, pinching it, pulling it up and over. So you'll be able to kind of speed up once you get the head. Whoops, sometimes that happens where it popped off. That's okay. Just need to be careful and get that one back on there. Both of them back on there, actually. There we go. Okay, and then I'll just try that again. Sometimes that happens. It's not the end of the world if it happens. Just put your loops back on and try it again. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm going to keep going. I'm going to speed it up and once it uh, starts to get longer, I'll show you what, how it's going to look. After a few minutes, you'll start to see the tail of your um, knitting coming out. So that looks is looking good. Now um, I'm going to keep going and I'll come back and show you what to do when it's time to take your knitting off of your spool. Now when I'm happy with as um, however long that I um, have my knitting and you can keep going however long you want your knitting to be, but when I'm ready to take it off my spool, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn about right here. So you don't want to cut it super duper close. Okay, that's going to cause you some problems. So I'm going to cut my yarn about right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each one of these loops off one at a time. Okay, so I'm going to pull the loop off right here. And I'm going to put the end of the yarn through the loop. And I like to do this whoops, one loop at a time because it can be a little tricky and if you try to do all the loops at once, sometimes they come off. Sometimes they'll all come off um, at once. And that might get a little bit tough to um, do when they're all coming through at one time. Okay. And last one. Okay, so I just put them all through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in a knot. So I'm going to make a loop, okay, and the end is crossing on top, so my end is going to go behind, come up through the loop, and then I'm going to pull, and I'm going to hold my fingers right here, pull the yarn through, and that's going to make that knot right there, and I can pull my knitting out of the spool, and now I have two ends I can tie together um, to make it into whatever I want. It could be a bracelet, necklace, headband. Um, you can make it even shorter, make like a keychain, something like that. And you still have your spool that you can create um, other knitting, knittings on as well using different colors if you have more yarn available. I hope you enjoyed uh, creating this tube knitting and I can't wait to see all the artwork that you all create. Bye!